Hello, I'm Harry Rose and welcome to the Greatest Sydney Landcare Network's Soil Health Series. In this series we'll be showing you how to use the Soil Health Card so you can go assess soils on your property. So why might you want to assess the health of your soil? Because healthy soils equals healthy landscapes equals healthy pastures. This video is about slaking and dispersion. So slaking is the susceptibility for a soil to fall apart when it gets wet due to a lack of organic matter. So if you have a soil that slakes and the soil's bare and it rains, then that soil can fall apart and be more easily eroded away. Dispersion is about sodium in the soil. So when you've got a lot of sodium in the soil, the little clay particles can float apart and you'll often see cloudy dams. That's often when you've got dispersive soils around. So when those little clay particles float apart, they can more easily wash away and it's the clay particles that hold on to the nutrients. So not only do you lose your topsoil, you also lose your nutrients. If you have dispersion further down in the subsoil, you can get tunnel erosion. And that can be fun when you're driving your vehicle across the paddock and suddenly your vehicle just drops down because the subsoil has washed away. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you um, how to measure both slaking and dispersion. It's really simple little tools. All you need is some water and a little dish. So let's show you how to measure slaking and dispersion is put water into this little dish that's deep enough that it's going to cover any little crumbs that you put in there. What you do is you select a couple of crumbs and here we're going to do the 0 to 10 centimetre depth. So don't drop it in, just gently place it in the soil and watch what happens. If that crumb falls apart in less than one minute that is really bad slaking, or it's really poor. Uh, if it doesn't fall apart after one minute, but then you give it a gentle shake and then it falls apart, the soil is fair. And if it doesn't fall apart under stronger swirling, then it's good. So you can already see that this soil is falling apart. And we're only at about 15 to 20 seconds. So we'll give it the full one minute. But while we're doing that, I'll just add a few more crumbs. So the reason that we've, I've put multiple crumbs into the water is any one of these may not be typical of the soil in general. So we'll notice this one here has quite extensively fallen apart, but these two have only slightly, these other three have only slightly fallen apart. They are still not totally stable because you can see little bits of soil falling away from the side. So if it falls apart in under one minute, it's poor. If it's still held together after a minute, but then you gently swirl the water and it falls apart, that's fair. And if you give it slightly stronger swirling and it still holds together, then that's good. And remember, this is about a measure of the amount of organic matter that's um, acting as a glue to hold the soils together. So if you have a soil that slakes, it tends to have low organic matter. So, okay, we're at one minute now. We've seen this one here has fallen apart. So this would um, rate as poor. These ones have only slightly fallen apart. So now we'll just give them a gentle swirl. And they've largely held together, still not fantastic, and a, more, a stronger shake, you can see this has got quite a lot um, breaking away from it. So it's not going to fall into the good, it's going to be fair. So um, what this will suggest that we may want to add a bit more organic matter to our soil to make the soil hold together better and um, not slake so much. Now what we need to do is leave this now for 10 minutes and see whether the soil disperses. Now if it disperses, what we'll see is a white cloud forming around each of these soil crumbs. If we see that happening at 10 minutes, then we probably want to wait out to 30 minutes to see how well that develops. If you get no cloud developing, then your soil is not dispersive. If there's a faint cloud, then it's fair 
it is a bit dispersive, not, not really bad, but if you get a strong white cloud, then that's really bad dispersion, and it means your soil uh, clay particles can easily you wash away. 10 minutes, and you'll see that um, no white clouds have formed around any of the crumbs. Therefore, we don't have dispersion. On the soil health card, this would rate as good. If we had that faint white cloud, that would be fair, and if we had a strong white cloud, that would be poor and suggest that your soil was highly dispersive and could easily wash the clays away. Now we've got soil at 40 to 50 centimetres, let's see what happens down there. So I've taken a crumb, put it into the water, let's look for a few more crumbs. So there's three pieces. I'm just having a bit of trouble finding another crumb down there because the soil is so powdery. Nah, that was a rock. I could hear it when it landed. That was a rock. And I can't break them up to find out whether they're rocks beforehand. So we'll just work with these three here. So these are actually quite stable at the moment. They aren't falling apart. But I should say, at the end of this, it's always worthwhile to press down on the crumbs to make sure you haven't been assessing a rock with a bit of dirt over the outside of it. Okay, now we're at one minute. When we look at these, all these crumbs have held together. We now give them a gentle shake. This one has now collapsed. This one has partially collapsed, and this one here is also starting to collapse. And if I give it a more vigorous shake, most of this is now gone. Large parts of those are gone. So these are, sl are slaking more, which means there's less organic matter down there to hold it together, which isn't surprising because this is at 40 to 50 centimetres and a lot of the roots don't get down that deep or not such a huge amount of roots. So you often have lower organic matter at deeper depths. So in this case, it fell apart under light shaking, so this would be a rating of fair on the soil health card. Okay, we're now at 10 minutes, and we can see there is no white cloud at all forming, so therefore this soil is not dispersive. So on the soil health card under dispersion, this would be rated as good. If there had been a faint white cloud around them, then it would be fair, and if there was a strong white cloud, that would rate as poor, and that means the soil would be very prone to washing away, and especially the clays, um, when they get wet and there's water runoff. But when you finish your assessment, fill in your soil health card.